Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do the reading for the second half of January 2021 for Taurus. Um, I will be doing things slightly different, but we'll get a couple of messages and then we'll do the tarot and then I'll do some more oracle after that. Oops, this thing stands up. So if you want an overall, if you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, I hope it resonates. If it does, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Um, so, yeah, I'll be doing Tarot and Oracle in this in these readings. Um, don't forget, though, time is fluid, energy is vice versa. And it's not going to resonate with everyone. It's just a general reading. All right, so we'll do a message for, overall message for Taurus. an overall message for Taurus for the second half of January. Does Taurus need to know for the second half of January? Two of action. You've got the two of action and it says trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavours. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. So that's the card. I might put that one here. On the bottom of the deck, you've also got four of action as well. Your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment and financial security. You deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event such as an engagement, a wedding, buying a new home or the birth of a child. So that one was on the bottom. We'll do a love one as well. Maybe I should put them over here. Another message for love for Taurus. Okay, overall message for 2nd of January. We got two. It's knowing you deserve love. You maybe feel like you don't deserve love at the moment. And for some of you, you've got wedding. Now that could just mean higher level of commitment. It doesn't have to mean wedding. It may involve a wedding, involve a marriage. Um, you may go to a wedding, you may be just going into a higher sort of level with somebody doesn't necessarily mean wedding, but maybe you're heading that direction. I didn't expect two to fall out. Um, you're not really trusting, though. You're not really trusting the universe at the moment. Maybe you need to trust your intuition as well. Um, but it's calling, I guess, the universe is saying you need to have faith. So make sure you keep your faith up. All right, we'll do some, do some tarot as well. Um, I think last month for Taurus was all about some ex that wants to come back. So we'll see. It'll be interesting to see what's happened for the second half. Oops, missed a card. Do one more shuffle. Okay, so tell me more for Taurus for the second half of January. What does Taurus need to know? I'll get four cards. Ooh. Funny, we just spoke about weddings and high level of commitment. It's pretty interesting. Um, okay, so you've got Tower in reverse. You've got the Nine of Swords, you've got the Two of Cups, and you've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I should have done these ones here first, but anyway. So the Tower in reverse is all about um, you working on you, and it's you trying to avert some sort of disaster. So maybe there's a situation in your life that you feel like you need to put an end to, and you either fear that change or you want to avoid doing that. But it's also working on you as well. Um, maybe you need to look at maybe if you're a bit codependent in a situation or 
um, there might be something you need to work on. So just keep that in mind. We'll ask some more questions though. So tell me more, Taurus, regarding the tower for the second half of January. Yeah, so maybe this situation involves somebody that was like a devil energy, whether they had addictions, drug, sex, money, alcohol, gambling, obsessed with, with you, with just obsessed with things. They could be materialistic, greedy, envious, all those things. Um, you obviously had some sort of choice though, or they had a choice. It could have been that. Maybe there was some sort of choice involved um, where somebody could have been juggling people, juggling choices, something. But it could have been this devil person maybe was juggling two people or it could have meant you, which then caused a tower, but you're avoiding the tower. Even though you know that this person was doing something wrong, you're avert you're you're trying to avoid the, the tower moment. Um, it could also have been you with the two choices. Do you want to go back to this person? Do you not want to go back to this person? It could have been something as simple as that. But it's all about divine timing with the temperance card. This is about having patience. It's about moderation. It's about balance. Um, and it's also, I mean, you've got to plant the seed and let it grow. It's going to take time, right? But it's all about divine timing. Things will happen when they're meant to. Um, but maybe there was some moderation needed in a situation. You've also, on the bottom of the deck, got the sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra is all about emotions and desires, sexuality. Um, make sure you express your sexuality, nurture you. That's very important. But, I mean, obviously this affected your emotions because you've, you're trying to avoid you know, ending up, ending, or ending ending a situation, or um, because of the tower, I guess you're, you're, you're fearing that change, which will affect your um, emotions, and here you are in emotional loss, you know, that's obviously you feeling um, like you've had a loss of some kind, dwelling on the negative, you know, all those kind of things. Right, we'll get some more information going to use my new deck. I've had this deck for a while and I've not used it yet. So this will be my first reading. The pictures are really kind of cute. Okay. So we want to know more for Taurus for the second half of January regarding the tower moment. So you've got the Eight of Swords in Reverse that flew out. The Eight of Swords in Reverse is about you having self-limiting beliefs and you being your worst inner critic. You need to release any negative thoughts you have and be open to new perspectives. That's what the cut is. Like you look in the picture, right? Her hands are tied, but I mean, you probably don't know if you can see, but they're not really tied. The, the ribbons, like the rope or whatever this is, the the twining or whatever this is is loose it's not actually tied into a knot and you know all she has to do is just really just move her hands it will undo she can take that off she can get on her broom and fly away she's not really stuck she feels like she is but she's not so that's what that whole card is about but it's all about you inside your head it's all those thoughts that are going on and you know those negative thoughts and your self-limiting beliefs they're all in your head doesn't mean they're necessarily true on the bottom of the deck, you've got the page of, sorry, hiccups, page of pentacles. So this is you. You can you can manifest whatever it is you want with the page of pentacles. Um, you, it's also about possibly wanting to um, like become a student again. Um, it can also be a new job, new ideas, new projects, all those kind of things as well. Um, Just thinking, I guess it's all about being prepared for new adventures as well. And like, if you look in the picture, like he's looking at a map and he's trying to, and there's all these signposts and things, and he's trying to figure out, you know, which option to pick and which way to go. And, you know, maybe you're thinking about starting something new or some new, you know, some new career or whether it's a new endeavor, some, something like that. But he's like looking at all these options. But you can manifest whatever it is you want. You are being guided while you do those because look at the cat. The cat's in the background. You can definitely see that. Um, and you've also got the star. And the star's all about miracles and hope and faith again. And, you know, 
miracles can happen. It's about wishing on upon a star. So you are going to end up having a tower moment, though. You may try to avoid it at the moment, but there will end up being a tower moment. So you can avoid it, but it will happen. The universe will always make something. If it, if if you if you're meant to get rid of something and you don't, the universe will just make it happen. So just be aware of that. If it's not meant to be in your life, it's not meant to be in your life. But I feel like you want to avoid moving on from this person, which maybe that's the choices that you're going to be making, but you will end up, you feel like you're kind of stuck. You feel like you have no belief in yourself. You, you know, when, once you open to new perspectives, you will end up realizing you deserve better. And now's the right time to do this with the temperance card. And then you will end up having a tower moment. And the tower moment is um, just, uh, it can be a revelation. It can be an awakening. It, it's normally a sudden unwanted change. Some sort of, it can also be an upheaval, but generally it could just be, you know, something as simple as you have an awakening where, or a revelation where you deserve better. Tell me more, Taurus. Yeah, you need to do some work on you, as I said. Do get some self-love. There's probably an imbalance. There was a misalignment of values. This person, obviously, if they've got some devil energy, they were doing something you didn't agree with, vice versa. So, yeah, it could just cause an imbalance and a disharmony. So focus on you and get some self-love. And here you are, being resilient, having courage, being persistent, putting up your boundaries. You, 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 know, you have strength. You, know. you might feel very defensive, but you do have everything in you to get through this. So just keep being persistent. It could be a test of faith. But it's all about being resilient. There's probably no communication going on with this person at the moment. Um, and you may feel like a bit of a victim, but, you know, don't keep playing the victim. You feel rejected. I know you feel rejected, um, you know, and lonely. And maybe because they just, maybe they ghosted you as well with the no communication card. Could also mean that. Um, yeah. And you are going to be hesitant. To, oh, you are going to be hesitant to open your heart again. You know, you've been hurt, obviously, so that's that's pretty normal. Do some introspection. Maybe just focus on you for now. Right. So we'll do the second lot. So this is also you feeling like you're anxious and you're worrying. You're having depression. Maybe you're not being able to sleep very well. You've got an overactive mind. You're regretting the past. All those things. Any kind of negative thoughts oops yeah you're just feeling down and depressed about what's going on with the nine of swords okay tell me more about the nine of swords for taurus second half of january what about taurus yeah so you're just going to be by yourself for now this is you just focusing on you doing some soul searching doing some introspection you know, maybe you've got some clarity about a situation, as I said, which is probably why the tower moment ends up coming. You know, you're doing this work on you and that's good. You know, that's what you need to do. Maybe you're learning about more about a situation or, yeah, just doing some soul searching introspection. And this is um, also the same, but you're feeling maybe exhausted. You're feeling burnt out, you know, doing deep contemplation. You're feeling like you're stuck as well. Maybe you need to spend some time in nature. Maybe you need to meditate, like in the picture upright. I mean, this could also be affecting your everyday things, whether it's your shelter, safety, money, food, all of those everyday things that we have. You know, it, it could be affecting that. Maybe you live with this person, so it's going to affect your money and your shelter. Things like that it can affect everyday things. Um... But I feel like there could have been conflict with this person as well. Um, but you are going to transition and eventually find something new. Um, but at the moment, as I said, you're going through this emotional loss. I feel like just at the moment, you're going to go through this, but then you're going to you're making the choice, this is difficult, you don't know what to do, you're feeling like you're stuck, blah, blah, blah. Here you are, feeling like you're depressed and anxious and just kind of being alone. Okay, tell me more for Taurus. 
Yeah, so here's the ending. Here's the ending to the situation. This is you putting in stop to it. Um, you know, enough is enough. You make a big change. This is you working on you, um, transitioning. You realize it's time to move on. And it's all about rebirth and transformation, which is all about, you know, working on you. As I said, here you are working on you. And this is here you doing more work and also putting a stop to the situation. Um, and this is the same card as the one, this one that we first spoke about, the Nine of Swords. You feeling anxious and worrying and having nightmares, the overactive mind, trouble sleeping, you know, all those things. So you've got it twice. So it's a definite conf confirmation that you are definitely having this. Oops, that's on the bottom. You're definitely having that. Um, you're definitely going through that situation. Um... This is you focusing on your employment, probably focusing on your coin, just trying to get more money. Um, maybe you need money to move on. As I said, with the base chakra, it could be affecting your money. So maybe you need to get some money together to you know, move out or, or whatever. But this is you just focusing on that for now. Um, yeah, and here you are going through this heartbreak. You probably were cheated on. You were lied to, rejected. You know, or whatever this emotional pain was for you, this is that situation. So, yeah. Tell me more, Taurus. But I feel like at least here you're making the, the decision. Here you're, you're stuck in, I don't know which way, here you are going to make a choice. Tell me more for Taurus. Yeah, you are completing the cycle. You've learnt the lesson. As I said, you've you've put an air, you've put a stop to it, and here you are actually learning and completing. You've you've you know done the hard work. Now you've completed the cycle. You've gone. Enough is enough. And this is also judgment card. It's also absolution. You know, you got some clarity, and you've oh my goodness, I've got hiccups. I don't know why I've got hiccups. I don't know what hiccups mean spiritually, but yeah, I've got really bad hiccups. Um, Anyway, so you've got the judgment. So yeah, final decision, some sort of wake up call, um, clarity, and you've made this, you know, it's like absolution. You've got four of pentacles on the bottom. You want long term security. You know, you are resisting the change. You're being stubborn, but you do want long term security. And I really, I think you realize that this is not going to give you that, you know, but it's always hard to move on, isn't it? Even when we know that we deserve better. And here you are with the, you know, ten of cups, broken relationship. There could have been arguments, as I said. Don't ever look at it, though, like it's a waste of time. Like, we always learn lessons from these things. Um, you know, it might take inner strength. It's, you might be doubting yourself. You may have low energy. As I said, you may feel very, very tired, um, full of emotion. That's all right. You know, it's best to, best to go through that. Um, you are wanting to hold back. You're not wanting to be a free spirit and take new chances. But just remember what you went through. There's, there's some sort of hostile situation. You know, in the picture, look. Oh, wait, this is upright, sorry. You know, she's had her hair cut off. He's stealing from her in the background, uh, running away with her hair. He can, he can carry her hair like he's stealing from her, um, which was probably abuse as well. You know, it's all those situations where it's mind games, you know, something really hostile. You've been through that. Um, but as I said, you may feel exhausted. You may feel overwhelmed. You may feel indecisive, um, wanting to give up. But, you know, keep progressing. You know, this person was just a fraud, liar, lazy, jealous kind of person. They weren't who you thought they were. They weren't your knight in shining armor. They probably were just, it's, it was an illusion um okay but you do have the two of cups so as i said maybe you were married to this person with the wedding card or they were married or um and here you are with the choices that two of action this is you taking action from your choices so you know we were talking the first the first um row here was all about you making choices and continuing to move forward and knowing that you can make the best choices for you and that's exactly what this first row is um, and probably because you're hurt you think you don't deserve love but you do so yeah this could have been involved a higher level of commitment 
or something like that. And here you are with the romantic love. This, um, it, it's all about romantic love, partnership, you know, marriage for some people. Um, we'll find out more though. Mutual attraction, compatibility. Normally two of cups is like the lovers kind of card. Tell me more Taurus for the second half of January 2021. Yes, you are going to, you know, you are going to have hope. This is the star card. This is you. As I said, miracles can happen. You know, maybe there's some, maybe this will be some new love coming in here. So maybe once you put a stop to the old, there'll be a new love coming in. But it's all about having hope again and faith and knowing that miracles can happen. Um, this is you working on you, just getting having some self-care again. This was probably a one-sided relationship that you were in. And look, the lovers, you've got the lovers card. So this is another card saying that there is there is love, you know. Um, and here you are with the Empress card, you know, you can create whatever it, you, it is you want. You know, maybe you're a parent, maybe you're pregnant, um, but it's about nurturing you, knowing you're beautiful or, you know, handsome or whatever this is. It doesn't have to be female. Um, but it's about creating whatever it is you want. And here you are in the lover's energy. So there might be something new coming. It is going to take willpower and you being determined though, for sure. And you are going to get some clarity about a situation. As I said, um, somebody was dishonest and they didn't take accountability for their actions either because that was underneath with the justice card in reverse. I don't feel like it's reconciling though. I feel like so far I feel like it's a new, a new love but we'll see. Tell me more. The Empress again. Um, at the moment though you have a lack of faith I feel like it's the same card right here it is saying have faith and hope and miracles can happen you know wish upon a star but here you are doubting that you're doubting your intuition you're doubting you're having lack of faith but it's telling you to keep having faith um, you've got the Empress card and the Empress card so as I said it's it's confirmation it's you nurturing you and you can create whatever it is you want for your life you know so just be aware of that. Um, you've got two of swords. This is you knowing it's time to make this decision. You're weighing up your options and making a decision. You are feeling though. You are going through this emotional loss. This is the same card, emotional loss. You keep getting. So you are definitely at the moment going through for the for the second half of January. You're going through this emotional emotional loss um but you also are not seeing the positive like if you look you know she's looking at this and focusing on these these cups that are down here spilt over but there's still two here you know there's still like she's looking at the negative rather than the positive you know so just remember that you might be feeling down but there's a positive to this situation um You've got to take back your own power as well. Because there's the Emperor card. Um, you've also had... Oh, I should have really mentioned that. You've also got the Emperor card and you've got the Empress, which was on top, which I just had a second ago. Oh, down here. This is Divine Counterparts. This is like Twin Flame. This is... Um, yeah. The Emperor and the Empress are the two... Like, they're very, yeah, they're the same. So just be aware of that. Um, yeah, not with the old person. You may have felt like that with the new person, but it's not. This is, we're talking about this new situation just here. Um, as I said, I feel like you're going to have lack of faith, but I feel like there's going to be something new coming. Last some more, two more. Yeah, 
it is going to take willpower and you being determined. Um, and you've also got the Two of Cups in reverse. So there was definitely some breakup because you don't trust. So... I mean, the same cards keep coming up, right? So whether this person comes back, tries to offer you something, but there's lack of faith, there's somebody has multiple choices, maybe because they feel like you have multiple choices. Like in the picture, there's all these, you know, cups and stuff. Whether they think that you have lots of choices, like lots of people interested in you and that's why they decide to come back. Or whether this is a new love and it's telling you to have faith. And this is after you have a breakup. With this, with this, You have a breakup. You do have maybe misunderstanding. There is lack of trust. But it's telling you there is going to be someone new coming. Once you get rid of this other person. You might feel impatient. You might feel like you want it now, now, now. But you need to break the cycle. And you're not willing to break the cycle here yet. As I said, you could have been married to this person or in a higher level of commitment. Um, but you are going to move on. You are going to have self-forgiveness and hope again. Um, and here you are again, moving on. These are both about moving on. Looking for something better. You're disappointed. And then you've got this Nine of Swords again. You know? This is about you releasing worry. You know, you might have deep-seated fears and there might have been secrets in this situation. But you are definitely moving on and you're taking back your own power. And knowing that it's time to make a decision. And here you are having a complete and painful ending. You hit rock bottom. You've got deep wounds. You were betrayed. It's a loss. Here you are having mental clarity and having a fresh start. You're seeing the truth in the situation, but there's going to be some sudden opportunity where somebody may come in and communicate with you. As I said, I feel like there's somebody new because you're moving on. It's not like it's a reconciliation. I feel like it's someone new coming. Right. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Self-worth. Focus on you. You were probably being hustled in the situation, but I feel like now it's all about self-worth, focusing on you, like... It's not talking about being self-sufficient. It's talking this time upright would be, but down like reversed is talking about self-worth. So tell me more for Taurus. Yeah, look, fulfillment of wishes. This is like one of the best cards. This is you getting whatever wishes you want. They're going to come true, whether it's good health, whether it's a relationship, whether it's whatever. I feel like you are going to get whatever it is you want. But it's not going to happen if you keep on stalling and resisting the change. Because you're just, make, you're just delaying this new relationship coming. Get out of your head. Make the decision. Wait. Like, this is the same card. Make the decision. Trust your intuition. At the moment, you're not. You need to take action towards something. Or well, somebody may travel to you or something about travel with the chariot. Um, but it's normally about being action and being determined, making a change, because you will have success. I feel like it's. I feel like the end of this reading is good. I feel like you, and I mean, this is all like you're up in your head. This here, you feel you need to work on you, and then things are going to start happening. There's going to be something new coming in. I mean, this read this as take it as resonates, right? It could be past, present, future. It could mean, and um, just extra information, um, it could take it as resonates with you. It could just be whatever you need to know. Tell me more, Taurus. Oop, you got quite a few that fell out. Four, actually. A bit more than I wanted. Um, so this is the same card. Why is everything coming out reverse? It's like, I feel like this is a message for you, right? You don't make a change. You continue to hold on to this past thing. This is what you're going to get. It in reverse right dissatisfaction i feel like it's the same here um you have lack of faith instead of getting and you had the two of cups and you got the two of cups in reverse i feel like it's telling you that if you wherever this was um before 
I feel like if you don't release the ex, you're not going to have this new partnership. You're just going to have a breakup and distrust and be by yourself. You make a decision and you choose this to get rid of this past person, you're going to have the new romantic love. And you you know, you are going to have hope again. Like I feel like it keeps on telling you it's all about getting rid of this past person. And this is saying the same. You know, you get rid of the past person, your wishes are going to be fulfilled, you're going to get a new relationship, you're going to have whatever it is, your wishes, whatever they are for you. If you don't, what instead what you're going to get is illness and dissatisfaction and nothing coming through for what you want. This is the same as before. This is about you focusing on you, doing some self-care, knowing this was probably a one-sided relationship. There is definitely lack of communication with you and this person. Though. There is no communication bubbles for things. You've got four of swords in reverse and the ten of swords in reverse. So you're feeling exhausted, you're feeling burnt out, you're going through deep contemplation, you're feeling like you're stuck but there is no communication and you probably just, you know, need to rest like in the, in the picture. She's just resting, um, maybe doing some meditation, whatever she's doing and here you are resisting the inevitable end so as I said I feel like for you it's choices you I mean the whole spread over here was about you making choices that was the main message of this whole reading was all about you making choices I'm glad I did this this way because I think it shows your whole reading is about you making choices here you've got choices right your choices are do you want to go back with this ex person who was like the devil or do you want to move on to something new? Now is the right time and now is the time to make this decision. It affects the rest of your future here. So as I said, you don't make the choice. You make the choice to keep on continuing with this ex-person. All you're going to get is heartbreak. And you're not going to get your wishes fulfilled. You decide to put this ex-person in the past. What are you going to get? You're going to get your wishes fulfilled and you're going to get a new relationship. It can't be any more clear cut than that. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, this is somebody coming in. Um, and, I mean, wands are all about fiery, passionate. So somebody might come in that's very fiery and passionate. Um, it can also be, I mean, them taking action. It can be passion. Um, somebody coming in quite impulsive. Um, so they might come in quite quickly. You need to get some courage. You need to get confidence. Be independent. Get out there. Be a social butterfly. Be determined. Know you're attractive because people are finding you very attractive. Trust your intuition. What's going on with this other person? So you need to trust yourself. Um, this is also the Divine Feminine card as well. And... The High Priestess goes with the Hierophant card, which you've had. And that would be the same as the Wedding card. So that's also another um, Divine Counterpart, because you've had the Hierophant card um, in the reading. So that is also a um, yeah Divine Counterpart. That's also a Twin Flame. So somebody new is coming in that is going to be like, will be your Twin Flame. Um, you've got the King, oh my God, these hiccups, King of Cups. It's about somebody who's empathetic and stable and has emotional security and wise, intuitive, emotionally balanced, all those things. That's what you want. You want somebody that's like the king of cups. But as I said, you've got to move on from this heartbreak. You know, let go of this emotional pain. At the moment, you're holding on to this. You, 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 it's, op it's choices, as I keep saying to you. You need to trust your intuition about somebody and you either get... More of the same with somebody, the emotional pain, or you move on to somebody new who's going to be like the King of Cups. Focus on your work as well. Um, this can also be a relationship that blossoms with the King, with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, but yeah, you need to just be by yourself at the moment. Um, contemplate and you the other thing was probably very made you feel very unfulfilled and bored 
and you know you maybe need to contemplate that do some meditation but i feel like this other thing uh you know seven of swords i mean theft betrayal dishonesty deception they wanted to get away with something and all it does is make you feel anxious and you know fear depression nightmares you know like i feel like it's choices for you you continue with the x you get shit i'm sorry to say you get more of the same um you let it go you are going to get your wishes fulfilled tell me more yeah, as I said, if you let it go, you are going to get more. You are going to get two of cups. This is the exact same card as this. You've had this three times. So once it was reversed, because that's if you don't leave, two, you've got upright. So you are going to get what you want, a new relationship, a new partnership, a romantic love. You are going to get it if you let it go. Let go of this past. Release the worry and any deep-seated fears you have um and here's the empress again you can nurture yourself you can create whatever it is you want you may be pregnant you may have kids with this person but you've got to take action and be determined to be successful you've got to let go have a new perspective because they this other person is definitely keeping secrets but you are going to have a fiery passionate new um yeah new start but you have to let go if you don't for those of you that feel like there's unfinished business and you're resisting the change as i said you're just going to get more of this more of the shit and this person is not even communicating with you so i guess it's choices and it's it's up to you what you choose to do um on the bottom of the other deck i forgot to mention you've got ten of wands in reverse so ten of wands in reverse is about um you were probably doing it all you they as i said they're not even communicating with you but i feel like you felt like you did it all so you're feeling very burnt out you're feeling overwhelmed um you need to release it they were probably giving to other people as well work on your self-love self-worth and as I said, you are going to get either focus on your work or it's going to be a blossoming new situation. You've got the chariot again. I mean, all the same cards keep coming up over and over and over and over. It's confirmation to you because there's the other chariot card. You've had chariot card with most of the decks. So take action, be determined, move on from this person and you are going to get what you want. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. Tell me more for Taurus. One card for Taurus. Yeah, you have to make a relationship change let this thing go if you don't you're not open to that at the moment and you need to release this so you can then meet somebody new what more can i say yeah love partnership it's in reverse you don't want to you and even love in reverse like all these cards that these especially these two and these ones everything's in reverse you don't want to make a change you don't want there is no love in this situation love partnership it's not your person do some work on you like it's all yeah it's not going to happen with this other person the person that's not even communicating with you it's all about choices hold on you but just remember old is going to give you more of the same for a second half. be grateful for what you have that's on the bottom Self-acceptance, this is about you loving all of you. Um, it's also all about um, working on you so you get some self-worth, self-confidence, all those things. Um, here you are, you have everything inside you. This is like the nine of wands. This is about you um, having everything inside you to get through it. You know, you might feel like you can't, you might feel like it's too, too hard. It's, you know, affecting your everyday things, whatever this is. But it's like... It's a struggle, yes. You might feel overwhelmed, yes. Um, you might feel defensive, yes. But you can get through this. Put up your put up your boundaries. Keep persisting. Um, you are resilient as well, like a warrior. Get out of your comfort zone. You know, you might be scared to make a change, but I feel like you can. And as I said, I think you eventually will. I mean, they're your choices, aren't they? 
more of the same and there's probably no communication anyway or someone knew that you know where your wishes will be fulfilled i don't know hard choice okay taurus yeah here you are you need to take your rose colored glasses off because you're not seeing things the way they are yeah you have an altered view of the situation you think it's different than actually how it is it's the situation is this person is not in communication with you and clearly isn't the person that's going to give your wishes fulfilled that's the truth and here you are you know you're hoping this person is missing you but they're not but you're not wanting to let go you're not wanting to move on um you need to make sure that the people that you or pe person next person you meet has the same expectations in a relationship that you do. They have the same goals in mind. They have they're going to prioritize the relationship. They're not wanting to go and see you know other people. Um, yeah, you also need to work on your subconscious mind. As I said, it's all here. It's all about working on you. You know, maybe you need to do that. Maybe you need to. Um, do some subliminals or do some guided meditations, all that stuff. You know, whatever you put out, you get back. And that's, and somebody's finger pointing like it's all your fault. It's all, you know, his fault, her fault, whatever. You know what? It takes two. I've always learned, it's, I was always taught it takes two to tango. And it takes two to make a relationship work. And unfortunately, it's not. Everyone's blaming everyone else. And also, your partners reflect your wounds. So take responsibility for your part in the situation so that you don't repeat the cycle. And you are going to have a new and like be like a graduate. You are going to move on. You are going to um, have somebody new. Um, well, have a look at this deck too. I have to keep them separate because they're the same colour. Didn't think of that at the time when I ordered them. That deck is more for single people, but it also gives you more information. And this one is just more extra, more, more information for people that are generally coupled or in general. Taurus, second half of January. Uh, oops. <coughs> so you've got seduction in reverse. It's like third party interference, hooking up, temptation, dating, flirting. So you're probably not doing that to this person at the moment. They're probably not even communicating with you, as I said. But you are going to meet someone new and you are going to rise like a phoenix. Somebody may communicate with you and tell you they like you or there's some sort of interest. So, I mean, someone new is coming. It's choices. It's choices between your old and your new. But that is what I have for Taurus. Um, I hope it resonates. If it does, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you for the February reading, I guess. I'll catch you then. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye.